Hello, welcome back to the new video. In this tutorial, we will learn how to procedurally change any scene into snow scene. We will start by creating snow on top of our cabin. After that, we will proceed to transform our rocks and trees. In the final part, we will change our ground with the beautiful snow shader. I promise that we won't do any modeling or use textures for snow. Instead, we will achieve the effect entirely through the procedural methods, shaders, and modifiers. Now here's the best part. I'm using 3ds Max and Vray for this, but feel free to use any 3D software and render engine you are comfortable with. It will be a fun tutorial, so without further ado, let's get started. Here's the setup scene I have created with some trees and rocks surrounding the cabin. Let's hide everything else and focus only on the cabin for now. I'm starting interactive rendering. As you can see, I have applied a simple wooden material on top of the cabin and I am going to transform it into a snow. For this, I'll start by using a V-Ray blend material. I'll add the wood material as the base layer and then assign the blend material to the top of the cabin. Now I'll use simple V-Ray material and connect it to the coat one. Now you can observe that our VRAM material is blending with the wood material. I'm changing the blending color to the black so that we don't see any coat for the moment. Now I'll use a fall off map because we only want the snow on the top of the cabin roof, not everywhere. I'm connecting the fall off map to blend one. Now you can see we have snow on certain areas and wood on others. Now I'll swap the colors of fall off map and then change the fall off type to toward away. After that, I'll change the fall off direction to the world sea. Now you can observe that we have some black areas at the bottom in the material preview. Now I'll add two points in the fall off curves. After that, I'll move the first point to the bottom and second point to the top. Now you can see that we have distributed the snow only on the top and not on the sides or bottom. But it doesn't look like a snow because steel snow has a thick layer and some natural noise which we don't have. Now let's add that thick layer. To achieve this, Select the cabin top and add a video displacement modifier. Since I am recording, I will increase the angle length from 4 to 6 for faster rendering. However, we will decrease it later to get more detailed results. Now let's select 3D mapping, then I will change the amount to 15 cm, shift to minus 5 cm and set the text map minimum minus 5 and text map maximum to 5 for now. Now let's return to the material and add a composite map. Add it to the text map in the displacement modifier. You can clearly see some changes. Now I'll connect a noise map to composite map layer 1. I'll change the size to 20 in the noise map and switch the noise type to fractal and level to 10. Now you can observe the difference with the thick layer, however you'll notice that we have noise everywhere which we don't want. Let's copy our fall off map and add it to the layer 1 as a mask. I 
I'll adjust the shift amount to 0 because with minus 5 I'm getting some face overlapping. Now you can see we have very nice layer of snow. Now let's move to the rocks. For that I have already set up camera on one of the rocks. Let's start interactive rendering. This is the material of the rock. I am going to follow the same procedure as I did for the cabin. Let's add the VRA blend material again and connect the rock material to the base material. You can select any object from interactive rendering by holding Ctrl and left clicking on that object. If you click on the plane you'll see it's selected and the same goes for the rock. Assign the VRA blend material to the rock. Add that same simple white VRA material to coat one in the blend. Now for the same snow effect on the top of the rock, I'll copy the fall of map we used for the cabin and add it to blend one. Now you can see we have snow almost everywhere. This is happening because we use the same fall of map as in the cabin and the rocks are sharper compared to the cabin slopes. To fix this, let's select the top point of the curves in the fall of map and move it to the left. Now you can see we have resolved the issue and now we have the snow appearing only on the top of the rocks. It's already looking cool. If you would like to add a thick layer of snow, you can follow the same steps we used for the cabin. Add variable displacement mode and copy the composite map used in the cabin. You might wonder why I am copying it instead of using the same one. That's because we have different follow map for the cabin and the rope. So let's duplicate it. Delete the old follow map and add the rock follow map to it and start interactive rendering. I haven't changed any settings in the displacement mode. You can see we have a thick layer of snow on the rocks but there are some artifacts. So let's decrease the amount to 5 cm. Now it's look promising. But I will prefer to don't add with a displacement modifier to rock so let's delete it. Now for trees, it's the same procedure as for the rocks. However, I have added the opacity map of the leaves to our snow material so that we have the same shapes of leaves in the snow layers as well. Now let's move to the ground. You can see it's just a simple ground with the turbo smooth modifier and some noise. Now let's add snow to the ground. First of all, I will add a vertex paint modifier and paint it fully black and let's start painting white areas on track or where you want. Now select the map channel and set it to 3 or any other values you prefer. Now let's switch to the main camera. Add a video displacement modifier to the ground. Adjust the value to 50 cm. Set the shift to minus 5 and keep all other settings the same. Let's add a composite map and then add a noise map to layer 1. 
after that change the noise map type to fractal add a composite map to the displacement mode you can see some nice changes i will adjust the noise map size to 50 cm and level to 10 Now let's make a copy of noise map and create a new layer in the composite. After that connect the copied noise map to the new layer. Change the high value to 0.5. Notice how we now have some new effects. To blend both layers Let's adjust the opacity of the second layer to 15% or 20% or perhaps 30% for a good look. So now we have it all over the ground but we only need it on our track like this. So for this we will use our previous painted vertex paints. Let's add a vertex color map. Change the map channel to 3 and then connect it to layer 1 and 2 masks. Now you can see that we have noise only on the path. However, you may notice that we have very sharp edges. So to fix that, let's select the vertex paint modifier and blur it. You will notice that it's look good. And if you blur it once again, it look even more awesome. I think we need some noise on the outer ground too. To achieve this, let's copy the noise map and add another layer in the composite and then add that noise to it. Let's increase the size to 200 cm and decrease the level to 5. Now I want the noise appears only on the outer side of the track. To achieve that, let's duplicate the vertex paint. However, if I use it as it is, it will only show up on the track area again. So, we can add an invert color map and apply the vertex color to it. then we can connect its outfit to the layer 3 mask now you can see we have noise 3 only on the outside area and it looks awesome now we will create a snow shader for that i use vray fast assess material Let's assign it to the ground. I will change the diffuse color to full white. Change the subsurface color to the lighter bluish, almost white. And scatter color to sky blue. Change the scatter radius to 10 cm. I will change the IOR to 1.5 I will turn off the trace reflections Turn on the scatter GI Now change every simple V ray white material to the snow shader we just created Now let's unhide everything and render it.
here is the render and you can see that it's look amazing i hope you found this video very useful and that you liked it if you follow me now you can change any scene into a snow scene as always you will find all scene files on my patreon please go and check that out if you want a video on something specific you can always give suggestions on my patreon and instagram if you find this channel useful you can support me by subscribing to my youtube channel or joining my patreon so i will see you in the next video